Hi, Cancer. I have to put my phone on Do Not Disturb because legit, there's a <laughs> there's a guy on Twitter <laughs> who um, wants my advice on how to tame his wife who acts like a child. Because I was talking about how you have to shine your own inner light because everybody is going to tell you all of your faults. Like everybody's going to pick you apart all the time. And they do that to build themselves up, right? So um, I made that tweet that, you know, to shine your own light, find your own sparkle, shine your own light. So when other people feel the need to pick you apart, you can say, I know who I am. I don't need you to think that you can tell me who I am because I know who I am. And this guy commented and just will not stop. And everything he's saying is just like narcissist, narcissist, narcissist. And he makes him, himself out to be a saint. <laughs> so I have to put my phone on do not disturb so I don't see, like I really need to just mute the thread. Hi guys, welcome. Um, Let's talk about February because honestly, I sort of feel like January 2020 um, should not exist. <laughs> like, did it even happen? Sometimes I wonder, did it even happen? And um, so, yeah, I am using the Light Seer's Tarot for your reading. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, you can go to my website fearlessintuition.net. I'm also doing astrology reports now, y'all. Get your astrology report. Um, my nose is a little bit runny. If I have to pause the video, I'm not going to blow my nose on camera. I don't do that. I'm talking like this because I'm waiting for the cards to respond to your energy. And I know you guys need to be distracted right now with this energy that's going on and the energy that's going to be happening in Pisces season, right? So the Mercury retrograde, should we talk about it? Or do you just want to sleep all through from mid-February until the end of the last week in March? Oh, here we go. I was wondering... I was wondering, I should never sing, like that should never be, which is funny because when I was younger, I was an amazing singer when I was younger, I did really well, and then I hit high school and I stopped doing it, oh, okay, oh, there you are, you showed up, hi, all right, amazing cards, amazing cards that came out, the Ten of Pentacles and the Star and the Three of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you guys, and this totally makes sense after everything that happened in your relationship house, after everything, you know, all of the stuff in Capricorn that happened in January, that Saturn and Pluto conjunction, we're still feeling it. It's starting to fade away, but the lessons remain, right? So all of the stuff during Capricorn season probably brought a lot up about your, you know, your relationships and, and how you were interacting with other people and how you can do better right? How you personally can do better. Um, because you can't control what the other person is doing. You can only control yourself. So all of that business. And then we go through the house of change, right? Going through, we're in Aquarius season right now. And um, it, it's very, this whole Venus and Neptune conjunction with the Pisces moon and Mars and Sagittarius squaring off with Venus and Neptune, like it's all sort of like we're just living in a fantasy world right now and we can't see through the mucky water, you know? It's And it's not like heavy, like it's not muddy, muddy water. It's just foggy. It's not like Fiji water. <laughs> it's more like a lake water. It's like clean lake water, but it's not like crystal clear Fiji water. You know what I mean? So, um, and it, cause it's not, it doesn't necessarily feel bad. It just feels like we're purifying ourselves. So <coughs> I feel like with the 10 of pentacles, the star and the three of pentacles, you have acquired this perspective within yourself about what it is that you, how you want to build 
because the Ten of Pentacles for me feels like a legacy. It feels like you're ready to really, with, especially coupled with the star here, it feels like you're ready to start building your legacy. And um, it's so funny how when we lose significant celebrities or significant people um, that we feel like, like even though we never met them in person, they touched our lives. And, and those celebrities touch our lives in different ways, right? Everybody gets touched in a different way, in, in a different way by a celebrity, right? But we look at that and it's almost like we feel like, oh man, life is short. And what am I doing with my life that gives meaning to the generations that I'm leaving behind? That's what this feels like to me, okay? And then down here we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Two of Cups. So there's also sort of a relationship wrapped up in this. And whether this is a relationship that you're currently in or something that you want to be in, I mean, of course, we'll find more. Let's see if we're going to go through the cards one time and see if Spirit has one more card to put down in the foundation of your reading. And then we'll go through and clarify. I don't think that there's anything else that they want you to know in the foundation of it. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Okay. And this is probably why. For some of you, you are putting a relationship on the back burner, Four of Cups, next to the Two of Cups. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Cups on the bottom row. So for some of you, you're putting a, you're putting a, a relationship on the back burner to focus on this new, and it may not, maybe it's not a new journey. Maybe it's just a continuing journey, um, but it feels very legacy-like. Let's see with this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. And that's exactly, exactly where I was coming from when I, when I wanted to backtrack. So when we do like the foundation and then we clarify, we find out why. We find out why we're in this situation. That's what the clarifications are. It's like, what is it that is creating this... Like the foundation is is what we're dreaming of or um, the basis of of how you're feeling. And then everything that comes out to clarify, it tells you what to do next or why it's all happening. Why, why you feel like you need to um, sort of rebuild. Because this three of pentacles over here is, is having a, a better foundation, starting with a better foundation. And so having the tower on the ten of pentacles makes, that's why I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. When the tower came out, because of course, if you want to build a long-term, stable, steady foundation, whether it's a relationship, whether it's your legacy, whether it's work-related, doesn't matter where it is. If you want to build it, it has to be on a firm, steady foundation. And if what you currently have is not on a firm, steady foundation, of course the tower is going to come along. Because the tower is evolution. The tower is change. The tower is redirection. This is like putting you back on the course that you're supposed to be on. And then we have the death card with the star. You had to go through this transformational process to get to where you are. It was faded. That's what the star is. There are the dreams, right? There are the soul contracts that we write before we come into this lifetime. And with that death card on the star, you had to go through this transformation to see you, everything that's happened has happened in succession so that you can see where you had built on jello versus cement or where you had built with mud versus brick you know so let's see what the three of pentacles is because i because this is like coming together and i did have the we did have the three of pentacles as the card of the day if you guys um, are not watching i do daily updates most days, almost every day I do a daily update, video update, but I am doing the daily energies um, in the community tab on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So you can get a daily energy and a card of the day, both of them. So like what's going on in the cosmos and what's every single day, whether I do a video or not. So if you're subscribed or you're following me over there, um, three of pentacles. Um, but this was the card of the day. And this is about, you know, 
coming together with like-minded individuals and building a whole new life, building a whole new, you know, and you can't rebuild. I, okay, let me start. Let me start over. It's really painful to have to look back in the past and be like, because I feel like part of you is sort of regretting some things. Like, man, I really fucking wasted my time. Excuse my language. But man, I really wasted my time. I really should have been doing this. I really should have been doing that. Like, why did I keep wasting my time so much? And that five of cups on the three of pentacles is like, if I hadn't wasted my time so much, I wouldn't have to rebuild now. I could already be on a steady foundation. But we have to go back to the death card in the star saying, you had to go through this transformation for you to see clearly. So regretting anything is not acceptable. No, no, we're not manifesting through regret. We are manifesting through joy. If you're having a hard time finding joy and manifesting through joy, I have a whole bunch of workshops on my website, replays that you can watch. Cheaper than readings, that's all I'm going to say. I help you manifest. I help you find joy and manifest. <laughs> Check it all out. Um, Queen of Cups. And that's the thing is regretting your past is not going to help build your future. You know, and rushing into things is not going to help build your future. If you, oof. Mercury retrograde is going to bring some financial frustration for you, I think. I, it's so funny because it's almost as if you can see exactly how you want your future to look. And your frustration here is that it hasn't happened yet. Like, it's not happening fast enough for you. Even Like, you can see it clearly. You're like, I can see my success. I even believe in my success, but it's not here yet. So that Knight of Swords on the Four of Pentacles, try not to argue about money with people in February. Mercury retrograde starts on February 16th, and it goes direct again on March 9th. But we also have a shadow period. Okay? So we have like a two-week shadow period that starts February 2nd. And then we have a two-week shadow period after, or whatever two weeks is after March 9th. Um, but... It's actually 11 days. Uh, no, that is two weeks. It is two. It's 14 days. Um, but that's the thing is I feel like, see how, look at this Queen of Cups, man. She is, she's connected, right? So if you are, because I feel like there's this anger, could be with an air sign with that Knight of Swords. So the signs that we're dealing with here are Scorpio, Aquarius, and you. This could be another water sign, but I feel like it's your energy. And, um, but that four of pentacles, you know, you holding on to money, like, really, really tightly isn't going to bring any more money in. You have to be open and receptive. And part of that is being vulnerable, even with your material stuff. It's really hard to do. Um, and, and um, but it's, po it's not impossible, but it's not really super easy, especially for like Virgos, Capricorns, Taurus, Cancers. We really um, pride ourselves in the security and the safety. Oh, yes, you guys. The security and safety of um, us when it comes to our material possessions and our environment. So it's it's like, I understand what it feels like to be really so stressed out about my finances and not be able to just be like, all right, universe, I trust you, right? Which means that if you say, I trust you, universe, if that means that you get to a point to where you have a bill to pay and you can't pay that bill, that means you have to change your life in some way, that's trusting the universe. It's not about, I trust you, universe, to give me the money to pay my bills. It's that I trust you, universe, that if I'm not supposed to be in this position because I can't pay, you're going to guide me to where I'm supposed to go. That's, that's real trust. You know, that's what I'm saying here is this is not trust. This is sort of shutting down out of the chaos of it all. Or arguing about money. Like there's, you can't have a flowing relationship with anybody arguing with about money. 
um, six of swords and the three of swords on the two of cups. What did I say? Like, you guys don't even want to deal with this. You're moving away from that painful relationship that you were in. And it, and if it's, if you're, if you're easing yourself or the relationship is easing itself, there's going to be different, right? It's going to be different. There's a difference there. But I think that you're totally, with the Four of Cups here, I feel like this is why you're putting it on the back burner. Because you don't want to have to sit in this Three of Swords anymore. That's really painful. And so the Six of Swords, you're like, I'm going to add three more swords and take this elsewhere so I don't have to, you know, feel or think about it anymore. The biggest thing that I would say is make sure you're allowing yourself to feel through the hurt of it. Because I don't want you to, like, um, just shove the feelings inside and not actually feel them. I don't want you to just like shove it all down into your gut and then not actually feel them. I want you to feel it so you can release it so those feelings don't come back again. You know, that's what we're doing in 2020. We're not sitting within our feelings, but we're not ignoring them either. Okay. And the four of cups could be that you might be ignoring some feelings. Let's see. Woo. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. I think that the whole leveling up the relationship, um, the four of cups, the hierophant and the four of wands, the hierophant and the four of wands. So it could be a Taurus that you're dealing with, or it's like you were supposed to be married and now you're just not like you're told you're putting all of it on the back burner. And even if it wasn't marriage, it was just like a leveling up. You were supposed to like level up the relationship in some way. Maybe you were supposed to move in with each other with that four of wands there. But there was something about leveling the relation, the, the relationship up and having that celebration. And you have completely put it on the back burner because you don't want to do, you want this to be better. Like the whole relationship has to evolve. You can't be the only one that's evolving. It has to be two people, right? It has to be both of you evolving. And if some of you probably may have left completely left a relationship and that was the tower, right? That was the 10 of pentacles in the tower because either you did, and I don't feel like it was the other person. I feel like you were the one that said, I'm done, right? Or you're the one that's going to be saying, I'm done. If this hasn't happened yet. Um, I don't know. I don't really feel like this is a work reading. I feel like this is a relationship love reading. Uh, I don't even know if it's love. I, it feels like, it feels like you're having to rebuild after releasing a past relationship. That's what February is going to be for you. And it's going to be successful. You will be fine. Six of Wands. Um, the Page of Cups and Justice. Allow yourself to find your own balance. Right? That Page of Cups is saying, could I just get a little bit of something? I just need something so I feel better. Give that to yourself. Don't search for it in the outside. A lot of times we'll like, like our friends will, will say, oh yeah, you know, like my friends used to be like, um, you're sad and upset. Let's go dancing. Let's go meet some guys and all that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, why would I, why? I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do, right? It's, I don't want you to distract yourself. I want you to give back, like the page of cups on justice makes me feel like there needs to be some self-love and self-care to balance your your emotions back, like get your emotions level again. Um, so I think Mercury retrograde, if, if this, if the relationship stuff has already expired, if it's already happened, it's coming back during Mercury retrograde to remind you why you don't settle, to remind you why you might still be single, to remind you why, and if it hasn't happened yet, I feel like there will be a time during Mercury Retrograde where you're like, I can't do this anymore. This is not something that I signed up for. I'm done. And you'll split. Either way, there's definitely some emotions and relationship stuff going on. And I want you guys to take care of yourselves. First and foremost, please take care of yourselves. I love you. Thank you for your patience on this reading. And um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I actually do have some, I have like two spots open for next week, but they're during the day. Um, and then I have some spots for the following week as well. Nothing this week, 
unless it's an emergency reading. But um, so 30 minutes are available. I love you guys. Um, oh, memberships. Become a member of the channel too. You got lots of perks being a member of the channel. I love you.